Welcome to our new professional growth system, Leading Effective Educator Practice, otherwise known as LEAP. Our team of unit members, administrators, and managers set out to develop a new process to replace our current evaluation system with a growth-based model that would be applicable to all of our unit members. LEAP promotes the enhancement of student learning by providing educators with opportunities for growth and development through a menu of supports, including ongoing coaching, peer support, relevant professional learning, self-assessment, reflective conversations, goal setting, and time to collaborate. Now it's time for us to take you through each of the four steps of the professional growth cycle. So let's get started. The LEAP system is a four-step cycle of continuous growth and learning. The first step is self-reflection and goal drafting. In this step, I will engage in a self-reflective process in which I assess myself based on the standards of professional practice. Some questions I might ask myself are, where is my current level of practice? What evidence supports my selection? And in what areas do I want to focus my growth? The second step is the collaborative goal setting meeting. In this step, I will collaborate with my administrator or manager to establish my growth goals for the year. During our meeting, we will review my self-reflection, identify goals based on the professional standards, create an action plan, select supportive growth opportunities to support my goals, and brainstorm possible sources of evidence. As part of the process, I will also have several visits by my administrator or manager. Ongoing coaching with my administrator or manager will begin after the goal setting meeting. Coaching visits are designed to help guide me toward my goals. During our visits, we may engage in reflective conversations, discuss observations of my practice, celebrate successes, arrange professional development, coaching, and our other supports, identify next steps, and debrief. The third step is the mid-year check-in. Step three is an opportunity to calibrate, review, and update my identified goals. We will review my progress towards my growth goals and determine if adjustments need to be made. During this meeting, we may engage in reflective conversation, review evidence and progress towards my goals, revise or modify goals as necessary, and initiate additional supports to help me reach my goals. The final step in the process is the annual growth summary conference. In step four, I will have a collaborative conversation with my administrator or manager to review progress towards my growth goals. I will share the sources of evidence that I've collected to demonstrate my growth. And together, we will reflect on my current level of professional practice. As part of this step, we may review written reflections from both the educator and administrator or manager, share evidence of growth, meet, discuss, and finalize my growth summary, celebrate success, and talk about the next step, which could unleash the inner superhero. Are you ready to take the leap?